right, guys, so as we prepare to set our clocks back one hour this Sunday, we're also thinking about how best to maximize our sleep time, at least I am, because research shows that a third of adults have difficulties falling or staying asleep due to stress and anxiety. However, regular exercise can help. So here to show us some moves that can aid in relaxation and better sleep is fitness, fitness expert, Chloe Aline. Hello. Hello. Hi. Welcome back to the show. Thanks. Okay, uh, why, obvious question, why is getting enough sleep so important? Sleep is so crucial to our wellness journeys. Think about it. How do you feel when you don't get enough sleep? We tend to snack more on sugary foods, not, you know, want to exercise. And that's because sleep is linked with our mindset. It's also linked with how we move our bodies and our food choices. And also lack of sleep is linked to weight gain, diabetes, and inflammation. So sleep really, really does matter. Mm -hmm. So talk about how ex exercise improves our sleep. Yeah, so when we exercise, our brain releases these feel-good endorphins that can help us combat the symptoms of depression and anxieties. And that's the thing that are keeping us up when we're up at night. Okay, so today you're gonna show us two sets of exercise activities and it can contribute to better uh, sleep because of things like resistance, full body training, stretches as well. So let's yeah. begin with the first part, which yes. is resistance training. Yes, I love resistance training. I think everybody should do it. It doesn't matter how old or young you are. And uh, we're gonna be using medium sized dumbbells. And the reason resistance training helps with sleep is that we're gonna be working out to maximum or near maximum effort levels. And what that's gonna do is allow us to burn extra calories while we're at rest, okay. which is amazing. Love. Yes. And then our natural body's recovery process can help us fall asleep. Got okay. it. Okay, so All the right. first move you're going to show us is the dumbbell squat press. I rarely work out, but I did the other day. So I'm already... Amazing. Oh, I'm already okay. Okay. Well, just grab one for now. Oh, okay. Grab okay. one for now. Ah. Yeah. Okay. We're going to go into a squat position. Put the weight towards your chest. We're going to squat out. As we squat out, we're going to extend the weights in front of us. Yeah, and then as we stand, we're gonna press it to the ceiling, and then we're gonna come back down and up. Yes, there you yes. go. Okay, does it matter what time of day? Like, I could never, if you asked me to work out at afternoon, I would say, go away. Like, I would never do it, ever. And I wouldn't do it before bed. So is there an ideal time of day? There's still a lot of debate about this. So what I would say is find a time that really works for you. Work out in the morning, do a workout in the afternoon, a workout in the evening, and see how that impacts your sleep. Keep going, Katie. Yes. Yeah, you're Good doing job. great. Good job. Chloe, it's the lateral lunge with single arm row. Yes. So one dumbbell again, you can do so much with one dumbbell. Yes, yes. We're gonna lunge to the side, hinge our hips back, and then we're gonna add a row. Then we're gonna come back to the center, one step lunge, hinge back, and row. Yeah, exactly. Kind of like you're starting a lawnmower, you know? Like, Let's boom. call this the lawnmower. The lawnmower. Right? The lawnmower. There we go. Yes. Okay, so why this, these specific exercises to help us sleep? Okay, so we're doing compound exercises, which means we're working multiple muscle groups at the same time. So instead of just doing a lunge or just doing a row, we're putting them together so that we're working smarter, but not longer. Right. All right? Yeah. I'm a busy toddler mom. I don't have an hour to work out. So I want to know that if I'm putting in 20 minutes, I'm getting a full body burn that's still going to tire me out so I can have a good sleep. Love that. Love that. Okay. Up next is the glute bridge chest fly. Oh, I How love do we do this. it? Yes. Come on down to the ground. Okay. We need two dumbbells for this. Okay. We're going to lie on our back, bend our knees. Weight is going to go into the heel. Okay. Squeeze your butt ah. to lift your glute. <laughs> to lift your glutes off the ground. I know. <laughs> Grab your weights. Okay. okay. Bring them to your chest. Yep. And then drop them down to the ground, your elbows down to the ground, and push up. Really squeeze your butt at the top here. Yeah, I can't see the question. <laughs> do you know what the next question, question is? And if you wanted to modify, <laughs> you could just do one thing at a time. You can come out of the... <laughs> I'm just going to come out of it. Okay, so let's say I didn't get a chance to work out today. You say that stretches can also help us sleep. Yes. Tell us. So yes. static stretching is great to, like, relax your body and unwind. Oh, I like how we just change the music. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you, DJ. Okay. Um, so we're going to go into... Um, a cat cow position. Okay. And the reason static stretching helps with sleeping is because it's going to make us focus on our breathing. Throughout the day, we're holding our breath, we have all this tension in our body. So, stretching before bed, you can even do this in your bed, which is amazing. Okay. Okay, so cat the first cow, one, let's do it. Cat cow, we're gonna uh, arch our back, exhale, and then inhale. You got it, Cynthia. I love a good audible exhale. <laughs> And you just take your time. You can feel the stretch in your neck, which carries a lot of tension throughout the day. 
I love I this. I love it. I'm, all right. I'm ready to sleep. This, <gasps> this soundtrack, I'm like, yes. yes. Okay. Well, uh, normally we do quite a few more of these, but we're going to move on to the next stretch, and it's uh, the seated forward bend. Yes. So tell us this. All right, so come on to a seated position. Feet are going to go in front of you. We're going to reach our arms up towards the ceiling. Inhale and exhale as you reach towards your toes and you should feel that stretch. You can do it. Or your knees no or the can't. floor. Are you you reach to where you can reach, Cynthia. There is no shame in that, okay? I <laughs> not a chance. Do you keep going up and uh, up you and You can, over? you can, or you could just hold it for 30 seconds, really feeling that stretch in your hamstring. You still feel the stretch though, Cynthia. Oh, I'm due. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, we're going to stay in this stretch, Chloe. These yes. are fabulous exercises. Thank you so, Thank so much. You. Thank you. Thank you. We're going to do a little stretch. And uh, hope you're stretching along with us. We'll be back right after this. Hey there. Wasn't that great? Do you know where you can find some equally good content? Our YouTube page. It's filled with discussions, debates, and some laughs. Head there now. Like and subscribe.